it has rained like crazy in Oklahoma this year and the blackberries are growing like weeds. So today we're gonna to be picking a whole bunch to teach you guys how to make some wild blackberry jam. What's up guys? Welcome back to the 100 Acre Wood Highlands Ranch. Today we're in the blackberry patch. Blackberries and dewberries grow wild here on the ranch and we have a lot of them this year. In Oklahoma it has rained like crazy. I mean I've only watered my vegetable garden one time all summer long. And so we're gonna be taking advantage of all these wild blackberries and teaching you guys how to make some wild blackberry jam. And stay tuned and it's time to get picking. Alright, so we have quite a few picked, still got a little bit more to go, and then we'll get cooking. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen, we have all of our berries picked. And we've sanitized six half pint jars. And the next step in the process is you gotta rinse all these berries really well. Since we just picked these from outside, there's lots of little leaves and some bugs and different things, so we wanna make sure you clean it really well. And then follow a, a good recipe. We're gonna be using a recipe out of the Blue Book by Ball. And the first step after you've rinsed the blackberries is to measure out and crush nine cups of blackberries. Next step is to crush up all the berries. We're just going to use a regular old potato masher. of mashed berries with our six cups of sugar and bring it to a rolling bowl. Woo. Once you have the blackberries boiling, you want to get it all the way up to the gelling point, which is 220 degrees Fahrenheit. 
helps to have a candy thermometer to do this. Okay, so we have the jars all pulled out. Next step is to have a funnel. This is a funnel that will help you from getting or keeping uh, all the blackberries off the edge of your jar. You want to fill these to a one fourth inch headspace. And there's a special tool that will help you measure and see how much space you're leaving at the top of the jar. tool that you can use to help measure how much space you have left inside of the jar. Next very important step is to thoroughly clean the rim of the jar. It's important that you get all the berries off the rim of the jar because we're going to be placing the uh, lids on these next. We want to make sure it has a really good seal. Alright, our lids have been simmering. We're going to go ahead and put those centered onto the jars and twist the lids on just fingertip tight. Now that the lids are on, we're going to use our jar lifter, place these inside our water bath canner. Now we're just going to lower these jars into the water and let the canning process begin by bringing the water up to a boil. Now that our jars are in the canner, we're going to make sure that they're covered by at least an inch of water. Bring it up to a boil and let it boil for at least 15 minutes. Alright, the final part of the process. Jars are done boiling, we'll get them some time to cool off. Now we're just going to remove them from the water, set them in place out of the way. You want to go at least 12 hours before you mess with them, but uh, sometimes you might want to just leave it a full 24 hours. And you may hear the jars uh, ping. It will be the, the, the jars lids sealing. Sometimes you can hear them pop. All right, we're going to leave these jars to cool overnight. All right. The best part of picking, preparing, and preserving the blackberry jam is the taste test. Whenever you pop your lid off, you should hear a small little suction. Mm. It's good. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.